All right, y'all. It's Cool Water again. The Digital Dope Man coming to you live with another episode in the Barroom Chats podcast where we talk about topics in the area of entertainment, politics, business, culture, and health. Barroom Chats podcast can be found on Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com under Barroom Chats or you can visit ishiphopdead.com to get further information. So, yesterday, I did a quick, I guess you could say, little podcast, and I just threw something on on the mic just to kind of get a taste of what I was going for, what I was going to do today. Um, Today's podcast really is centered around Ice Cube, but it's really black folks who kill the messengers. So, Ice Cube has been relentlessly on a mission to get black folks to delve into the contract for black America and to understand that their vote has power by how you cast it and who you cast it for. <clears throat> Holding the vote is more or less kind of what his mantra is, but at the same time, he's telling you to ask for some crumbs off the table as it relates to the vote. Well, many people don't want to do that. They think, you know, Q, be quiet, shut up, yada, yada, yada. So, One of the things that I had to sit back and ask myself is what is the reasoning that people are having a problem with Ice Cube doing politics? He did gangster rap, he's doing the movies, he's doing the NBA on an independent level, and now he's doing politics. And one of the things that I came to the conclusion was is that Cube is too rich. See, Cube got fuck you money. His net worth is over a hundred million dollars. And when you reach that level of income, the average Negro in America has a churning in their stomach because they will never in their lifetime see that type of income. So Cube is a prophet trying to deliver the message, but he, like Jesus, like Moses, like uh, Muhammad, um, like Noble Drew Ali, Malcolm X, Minister Farrakhan, um, Dr. Claude Anderson, Marcus Garvey, and many others. You throw Umar Johnson in that category too. It's being shunned and despised for delivering the message. The messenger was sent by God to relieve you of the tyranny from the oppressed, oppressor, from the oppressor. But many of us has this thing where we want to basically get mad at the messenger. So, Cube is saying in so many words, hey, your vote, the people that voted didn't die to vote. They didn't go to vote to die. That's a misnomer. And it is. It's a misnomer. Because no one left their house with the intent to go to die to vote. No one. You wouldn't leave your house with the intent to go die to vote. But because the Historians control the history. They, along with the sellouts, continue to tell you a misappropriated story that you've been holding on to for years. That's a misnomer. So, one of the things that Q is trying to get black folks to see is you got to ask for something for the vote. Now, who else better to tell you something than somebody who's at the highest height of 
financial superiority in America than somebody like Ice Cube or somebody like uh, Tyler Perry, Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey, or someone who may be at the highest height in politics. Because they've played at the table with these folks and know how they think and act. And they've seen the economic structure and a, at a height in a place that you would never see. You would never see it from the ground the way that somebody like myself or others would until you ascend financially and economically above all races. See? So Cube is trying to tell you that all economies, all ethnicities ask for something for their vote. Now, many people have this, this been, been disillusioned into believing that black folks have been and always were Democrats. And that's a total fallacy. If you say the Pledge of Allegiance, you will clearly hear it repeat the statement for the republic for which we stand. This was a Republican form of government before it was overthrown by the democracy or the demos or AKA the slave masters of the Southern, Southern Confederacy, right? The Ku Klux Klan, Klykos, uh, Christian hegemony army, if you will, that took over the United States government. And the slaves followed those that forced them into indoctrination, also into the belief that democracy was the way to go. Because again, democracy comes with social programs and social issues. And many Negroes believe that democracy is the best form of medicine. Hence the reason why you in love with Obama. Because you feel like him being a democratic president, he he offed up some some crumbs from the table. I got me an Obama phone. Oh man, I got some food stamps. Man, they gave me the Obamacare. But all these programs come at a cost. And the cost cost the taxpayers billions of dollars. But no one really sits back and thinks about that because most of black America's beliefs on politics deals with an emotional, from an emotional standpoint. It has no validity. If you're not a political science major and fully understand politics from that angle, most of us, including myself, we look at it emotionally. It's not until you get the education, the historical background on politics that you fully understand What's going on? So, the messenger in black America and black America killing the messenger or the prophet has been going on for years, for centuries. We've been trained to kill our own. We've been trained to shun our own. We've been trained to despise our own. The richer I become, the more I hate I'll receive. See? Hence the reason Ice Cube's message is being heard but falling on deaf ears because the individuals that despise the message is despising the message based off of his characteristics and criteria. It's the nigga you love to hate. This the dude that did the death certificate joint. This the dude that said, women ain't this and women ain't that. This the dude that's doing movies. This the dude that's doing uh the, the, the big three. Not that dude. He can't possibly know what he's talking about. But many of you forget that Q was unconscious before all of this and ran with the Nation of Islam, ran with the five percenters, ran with Khalid Muhammad, ran with these individuals who was on the ground running and doing the work. So all the messengers have came. So you got somebody like Dr. Claude Anderson who has put out the message. 
See? He did the first book, Black Labor, White Wealth, giving you the problem. Came back with Poweronomics, giving you the blueprint. And you still shun the messenger. You still despise the messenger. You still hate it on the messenger. Because you would prefer your oppressor be also the person that gives you your salvation. Is which is one of the reasons why we never get anywhere. You keep looking to white folk to solve black folk problems. We got individuals, man, who've been on the front line for years. On the front line for years. And many of you despise the fact that you've not been able to uproot and, and, and compromise what these folks have done for your better benefit. For your better benefit. So you can't, I don't even know how to begin to say it, man. It's one of those situations where we so brainwashed and, and like a used prostitute, we've been used that we so fragile and disoriented. We don't know truth when it comes to us. We don't know who to believe. We don't know what to believe. Anybody who starts to study politics understands that this, the, 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 the term phrase is quid pro quo means something for something. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. In the, in, 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 in the midst of that, we exchange goods and services. This is the part that Negroes have not came to understand. Hence the reason we keep getting what we're getting. So now, if you take it upon yourself to, dirt, dirt, to vote for Dirty Joe, because you think Dirty Joe is going to provide you with an opportunity of better, a better quality of life. Well, you got to check his record. He's been in office for 47 years. What has he done? That's the question that you want to ask. What has Dirty Joe done in 47 years? Nothing. He's been, made plenty of statements that have really uprooted his presidency. But most people are not paying attention to that. Kamala Harris clearly told you in the video when she was being interviewed about her thoughts on reparations and the wealth disparities of black America. But at the end of the video, she clearly stated that, hey, I can't just do something for black people. That wouldn't be right. Her interests are not aligned with you. So when you go and you see these prophets out here trying to prophesize and uplift the black race and you throwing rocks and you're shunning them, understand that you are also writing the ticket on your own demise. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the messenger was sent by God to give you the message. And if you don't want the message, guess what? You don't want what God is giving you or offering you in the midst of that. So why shun Ice Cube? You shunning him because he's too rich. Because he got he has some dirt on his hands from his musical career, preaching the truth through his lyrics, and you don't like it. Not looking at the man who's been married for 25 years, raised four kids, been a loyal husband, been a spiritual father, you know, and, and, and abided a law abiding citizen. Not that man. That's not the man you're looking at. You're looking at the dude who got so much money that his pockets can't hold him. It, 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 it baffles me. And this is something to take into consideration and look at when you start talking about the messenger and the message. We have to take the bull by the horn because the future don't have you in it. These folks out here trying to kill you. The Gates Foundation, they ain't in favor of your uh, growth and development. Asian supremacy is not in favor of your growth and development. Africa being ran through. 
Anybody with melon in their skin as dark as mine, you on the hit list. You on the hit list, period. It ain't no up for debate about it. You on the hit list. You could call it what you want. You could get offended. You could get upset. But at the end of the day, if we do not take the bull by the horn and start demanding something for our votes, start demanding things for our communities and whatever else we need, you can rest assured we will die by the wayside. You have to look at it from that perspective. So don't get mad at Ice Cube. Don't get mad at Dr. Claude, uh, 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 Claude Anderson. Don't trip on Dr. Amos Wilson, Khalid Muhammad, Minister Farrakhan, Noble Drew Ali, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey, Jesus, Moses, because they tried to bring you the message and you didn't want it. Understand you have a disease that's embedded in you not to receive the message from your own. And until you do, we'll slowly be diminishing and dying in the process. Hey, man, I'm out. It's Cool Water, the digital dope man. Check me out at the blog, Is Hip Hop Dead? Look for me at the home base site, the digital dope And just remember, the person that's trying to save you shouldn't be the one that you hate the most. Peace.